What's up YouTube? Today we are talking about how to master the Steph Curry fade, the Steph Curry pull up in NBA 2K20. So first things first, let me show you guys where to go to put this on. You know, I see a lot of people, they struggle with fading. This video is going to be all about helping you guys master it, the badges, the attributes, everything you need to do to be a fantastic fader, to be a fantastic shot creator in NBA 2K20. So there it is, Steph Curry fade. This is in my opinion the best one. It doesn't have the highest green window, but it is super fast, it's super smooth, and uh, if you don't like it, I mean there's a whole bunch you can choose you can do normal four as well normal four has been popular throughout other 2ks it's a little bit slower but it's also got a smooth release athletic three is the one ticino uses it's a little bit more jerky looking but it's got a super high green window and then athletic five supposedly has the highest green window in nba 2k20 all of these are good if you don't like steph curry you can put on any of these and this video applies to all of them just get something you're comfortable with i see a lot of people you know they uh they don't even put a fade on and they wonder why they can't fade and definitely got to choose one of those you see jump shot boost is another thing if you're going to be fading you know you're playing twos you want to be a shot creator you want to be fading and hitting consistently as possible i would definitely recommend putting on jump shot boost it hires the make percentage you know the green window for shooting and you know dribble pull-ups you know fadeaways they're harder to hit than standstill shots so the more the more bonuses you have to help you with those the more greens you're gonna get now let's go right into the practice facility i'm actually going to show you guys the badges you need to put on before you start fading before I start showing you because badges are the most important part of fading if you have the wrong badges you're not going to be able to green consistently if you have the right one you're going to be unstoppable nobody's going to be able to stop you from fading and uh you know they're going to be struggling out there they're going to be hitting big bodies you're going to be getting big greens from mid and they're going to be losing their mind so let's get into it so shooting badges first things first of course difficult shots it is an important shot creator badge uh, you know, basically, you know, it does what the badge does. It tells you it gives boost to difficult shots such as fadeaways and pull-ups. But it's not the most important shooting badge for fading. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. You see clutch shooter right here, also important, you know, if you're down or if you're at the end of the game. It's going to help you hit more shots, green more shots, clutch shooter's big. Quarter specialist is probably one of the most important shot creator badges in the game. When you're going to the baseline, when you're fading close to the corner in between that, it gives you a boost for the midi fades. And the anything close to the corner when you're fading is going to give you a huge boost. Dead eye, you know, you already know what that does when people close out on you and they get a contest. Having dead eye on the fades also helps you make those. And then we talked about difficult shots. Flexible release, I mean, if you're terrible at timing, you may want to throw that on, but definitely not necessary. Green machine is huge. If you can get a couple greens to start off, or if you hit your first couple fades with greens, green machine's going to activate. It's going to make the window huge. And I'd say after you have green machine on, you're going to basically going to be able to hit every single one. Same thing with hot start. If you hit your first couple of shots, you get that hot start bonus. Go ahead and start fading, man. That huge bonus is going to help you out a ton. Hot zone hunter. If you got hot zones in the fades, definitely need that. Range extender as well. Not just It doesn't just give you, the, you know, from the hash. It actually helps with the minis too. And then you see quick draw. You don't want to have a slow fade. You want it to be pretty fast so people can't contest it. Tireless shooter. If you're going to be running back and forth, you're going to be one of those shot creators. Definitely tireless is going to help when you're blinking. And then volume especially. If you're a chucker, if you're playing with a glass cleaner and you're taking all the shots, volume's going to help. All of those badges are big when it comes to fading. As many, get as many of those badges on as you can. And you see right here, I'm actually not going to have difficult shots on anything for this, uh, for this video. Just to show you guys, you can still fade without it. It's not the most important badge. But let's get right into it, man. You see starting off with the green right there. That is a sweet spot for shot creators. Kind of in between the uh, basket and then the corner, the, the blah, blah, blah the uh, corner right there if you have corner specialist it's gonna pop in right there all basically you're trying to get as many badges activated as possible when you see I don't have a shot meter if you don't use the shot meter it's gonna give you a boost you're gonna be able to hit the green window more consistently so if you guys are comfortable taking off the shot meter definitely do it uh, but yeah man right in between you know the corner right there is the best place to fade I would say you know most shots you fade you should be taking right there especially if you're trying to hit consistently and if you want to be really close to the basket close shots are really cheap Easy. So the closer you are, the more efficiently your uh, your whites are going to go in. Now, if you green, it's going to go in no matter what. But if you have a poor release timing, if you're tired or something, if the closer you are to the basket, the more fades you're going to get in. You know, if, if you're out of energy, if you need a bailout, like something like this, you see, I just get super close to the baseline. Slightly early, it goes in. Definitely going for that. Um, but yeah, man, if you get too close, of course, you're going to do a layup. 
that's the sweet spot. Now, you know, where else can you shoot fades? You know, top of the free throw line right here is also another good spot. You're not going to get the bonuses from the corner, though, when you're doing that. And it's going to be a little bit deeper, so it's going to be harder to green. You see I green it right there, though. If you're shooting those, you want to have your timing down. You don't want to be shooting slightly. You want to be hitting consistently. You want to be greening to make sure it goes in. You see right there, bang. Now, we will talk about the three-point line fades. Three pointers. I mean, there's a lot less. Uh, there's a lot less of a green window. You see, I'm taking the first one right there, slightly early. If you're not in takeover, it's going to be hard to consistently hit those. Now that being said, you see, I got a hot spot right there. I green that right there. If you got your timing down, if you got badges, especially if you got hot zones, and then you can do it. But if you're not the best three point shooter, and then I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to fade from the three point line. I would save that. Now, if you're in shock ready takeover or sharp takeover, you can definitely shoot those consistently. You can shoot limitless threes consistently in takeover. I mean, shot creator takeover really just changes the game. You see right here, shooting the corner threes is also a pretty efficient shot. I would say that's better than the top of the key threes, of course. But, yeah, man, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you uh, want me to make any more videos like this. Let me know what you guys do to fade consistently. But yeah, man, this is Tonic. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Very informative video. Uh, a little bit different from the usual stuff. But, yeah, man, have a great day. Peace.